What is going on? Welcome back to Canadian Dividends. So today we're going to talk to you on my tax-free savings account. I want to give you a quick summary on what I've been doing over the last several days. I've been quite active as well, what I plan on doing in the foreseeable future. Before I get into any of that, make sure you just hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. With that said, let's get right to it. So portfolio did end up about $364 in the red. And that's unfortunate. Uh, that's because I largely did impulse buy a couple things, but I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, um, overall, I'll give you a quick summary on that in a second, but $45 in available cash. I did buy Bell, um, so they kind of gave very poor future guidance and Enbridge. So Enbridge recently did have their earnings. Previously, I had around $7,000 equivalently of them. So you can kind of see I did double down. And this is why I did have a lot of money in CMR. So that's the BlackRock iShares Premium Money Market ETF. And so ultimately, I was going to be taking money out of that and just buying accordingly. So I would rather have money sitting in there than actual just not earning anything whatsoever. Um, so again, I've been selling quite a lot of CMR and most likely on Monday, I'm going to be fully liquidating the rest of the 254 shares I do have and buying into American. So I'm going to be converting it to American. So I'll be giving two updates. So kind of back and forth, um, as you can kind of see up here. And one thing that is on my watch list, I actually did buy this under my non-registered account and as well in my interactive brokers, more so call options, but PayPal. So PayPal had phenomenal earnings, but the only thing is they kind of gave poor future guidance, similar to Bell, um, in fact. And I did do a dedicated video to Bell recently where their actual numbers were okay, just they gave poor future guidance. So the market just slaughtered them, similar to PayPal. But PayPal, I feel like long term is going to do a hell of a lot better than any of these Canadian stocks. So I'm going to be probably putting this 12,000, so it'll be converted to probably around nine or eight or something like that um, so I'll be buying PayPal as a result of that and only because I do feel that bigger and better things will be coming essentially to the American market and I stated that in the past I've just been very hesitant about buying it in my tax-free savings account other than XUS so I did buy a little bit of XUS today so going over some of my transactions I did sell right here CMRs for around 20,000 I bought 13,000 at uh, right here so $45.89 300 shares I also did buy a little bit more so around 4,500 additional ones so 4587 100 shares and then finally a third one and that's is largely because they do have an ex dividend date coming up on the 14th so I do anticipate more of a push higher as a result of that so I do kind of see that as a win-win so I bought another 19 shares at $45.85 aside from my many Enbridge purchases I did buy CGL um, only five shares at 2311 I did buy five shares of XUS so that's the S&P so 83 to 81 right there and then five shares at at $47.43. And this is only because I did see that I was more so underweight with XFN. Um, so overall, I'm pretty happy with a lot of my transactions. Aside from what I did today, I did buy a little bit of Canadian utilities, but I've already done a video incorporating that. So I think overall, bigger and better things will be coming down the pipeline for my portfolio, and I'll be collecting some pretty good dividends. So I got some two heavy hitters, Bell, as well as Enbridge. Um, I need to be cautious though, because as I've stated in the past, I do feel that in 2024, whether it be Q3 or four, those dividends most likely will get cut, um, not fully, but they'll probably get cut by a good five to 10%, and that's gonna get slaughtered in the broader market as a byproduct of that. So again, this is why I'm gonna be transitioning. PayPal doesn't pay any dividends because especially in tax-free savings account, like it's not, um, you do get hit with that withholding tax. Only RRSPs are going to be kind of under that shelter of that. So uh, this is why I do feel like PayPal uh, or potentially SoFi, I know some people might be mixed feelings on SoFi. It's a little bit more of a spec play, but I really do like SoFi. I cover that quite frequently under my other channel, Trending Stocks. I'm going to be starting to do PayPal quite frequently under my other, other channel, which is Financial Journey. I do have quite a lot of channels. This channel obviously is oriented towards and uh, being very niched down to Canadian dividends because in my portfolio, as I've said, I want two things. 
at least uh, so far this year, I think around three to 3,500 in dividends. And over and above that though, I want to have at least 5% growth every single year. So technically I did hit the mark last year, um, so far in the first year of me making this portfolio. So again, I just wanna keep up the good momentum and this is why I do wanna have a good mix of Canadian and American stocks. I just need to be very cautious and not go overweight on growth because then technically if things downturn, you will have a very negative uh, results as a result. So just uh, be patient with me. Uh, let me know your thoughts on all that. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And one final thing, as I've been sharing with you, if you are interested in making a new tax-free savings account or RSP, simply sign up with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and they give you $50 as a bonus. This is one of the best deals huge return on investment like immediately so just open up an account throw $100 at it and just forget about it like it's kind of a win-win in reality so take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching